as a startup. All right, Fair. let's roll. Hell yeah, brothers. <laughs> your stupid ass ideas. I don't think I'm going to be very funny today, but, you know, it's because it's been kind of a day. It's, it's been kind of a week. It's been kind of a year. Yeah, Wee! yeah. It's been, kind, it's been kind of a life. Yeah, no, but I, I mean a bit of a different thing when I say it's been kind of a day, month, and week, and year than I do with my life. I don't think that my life has been terrifying or terrible, but this week might be. I mean, yes. I guess you can look at the bright side because your intestines have been blown up. I mean, you know what? I read that too. <laughs> hmm. I want to see if someone gets super creative with this one, so let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wrote a prompt that doesn't make any sense, but I think it's hilarious. Uh, I don't like it. I think it's the best. There we go. <laughs> I hope someone gets that prompt and enjoys it, because it doesn't make any sense. Scribble, scribble, scrabble. Um, this is the best part of the game. <laughs> We're all dishing out. See, that, that's ideas. the thing. I like really. My favorite part is presentation. Like bar none. I love presenting. Oh, and I, know, I, I do love this part though, because I try to see what ridiculous things I can come up with to challenge you all to come mm -hmm. up with a two. Yeah, but I am gonna mention. I answered those two questions, and I realize how uh, how I was uh, influenced by the things I was doing earlier today. Oh wait, the prompt. All right, so I get to, I get to be really dark. <laughs> All right, the dark. game. So I get to be really dark, or I get to, or wholesome. Like I have a real problem, and then I have a ridiculous problem. Please, Which please wholesome. Please, please, okay. please, please don't. Okay. I'm okay. gonna be then dark enough for everybody usually. So. I mean, so like I had one that was like a real problem, and the other one that was truly ridiculous. So. I'm just like. I'm not gonna be funny today. I've already like I've already found out like oh apparently I'm not gonna be funny today. That's right. This is the pivotal moment where you put your design. Yes. Did you come up with something amazing? I think so. Or something really stupid. I hope it blows me away, because I don't have a good joke for this. Let's see. Okay. So, gotta get these details right. Okay, then I get. Oh, nope. Oh, wrong marker. Okay. So. I can't do a stick figure for this one. I should really do like takes a little more effort to draw, but we're halfway home. Oh my god. <laughs> The concentration is palpable. Dude. I, I like to concentrate. I can I do a bonus can I do a bonus dad joke? Just Absolutely. For value? Yeah, man. I'll pay for it. I like to concentrate. That's why I drink orange juice. Yeah, oh, but R2 just made you drink water. <laughs> What's that? A while? That was only like three minutes ago, five minutes ago. Yeah, that ago. was a while ago. Like, I drank for it. I didn't say anything, but here, I just, I'll sip for anyway. Oh, it literally just appeared for me. Oh, well. Do it again. Oh, then. Behind the times. 
How very peculiar. But I suppose, yeah, it would be. Um, wait. Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, where's the title and the, the subheader? excited. Searchlight has informed me that he got one of my prompts, and I want to see what he does with it. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. It was also the less interesting prompt answer I gave, so I'm hoping someone took the other one for this. Damn it, Searchlight. Why don't you pick the more interesting prompt, man? I don't think I got both oh, of my no, prompts. My yeah, uh, you may have lost your tagline. Oh. Just try and keep it in mind. I'll believe you when you read it. Just try and keep it in mind. Really sell yourself, too. Don't worry, I, I was lagging at the end too, so I just put in what I had and I'll just try and run with it. We Searchlight! Read, but... You're coming up! All you gotta do, dude, is just read it out for us. Mine's very obscure. Um, I'm scared of finding the bat cave in my basement. Aren't we all? You know, no. we're trying to run a criminal enterprise, and the last thing you want to have on your mind is knowing that the bat of all of them is right underneath your feet. Well... I've got a solution for you. For all of us at Gotham. Criminal Consultant Agency. I didn't have enough room to put the full title. Um, okay. Here at the CCA, we'll, we'll, cook, we'll tie you in to any sort of nefarious ne'er do well in Gotham who can take care of that pesky bat problem once and for all. And you don't have to worry about that bat cave anymore. Why? Nitro here, one of our favorites. Yeah. You know, he could, you know, if you're worried it's underneath your basement, bow, bam, blast, he could just level that whole thing down. If there's a bat cave in there, it'll collapse from all the explosion and fun. You know, maybe you just want to keep the Batman occupied. Get a little someone playing some pranks and jokes around town. A veritable joker, if you will. Um, <laughs> it may be difficult to work with him, but um, rest assured, we'll do our best. And of course, Penguin's always there, because, you know, why not? So, you know, goons, guns, you, and masks to mayhem, we've got you. You talked up. that entire time. Bubbles! I will be with Robin. So, I wanted to walk and not feel unwanted at the same time. <laughs> Me too. So, <laughs> here is my advice. Get yourself some affirming friends. It's cooler. I really it's... hope I go right after you. So, like, you know, your friends need to tell what you. What eldritch you... horror am I looking at? <laughs> so there's three friends, and then they tell you, you matter. But my handwriting's really bad, but so it's definitely supposed to say matter. Yeah, but what if I'm light? Then I energy. Um. So, <laughs> oh, like, sometimes people choose to spend time with people who insult them and hate them and do all sorts of bad things. Don't do that. If, if your friend or your partner is telling you that you suck and that you're awful, leave them. Find better friends. Because you should not... The purpose... <laughs> Can't don't listen to him. <laughs> you should definitely find yourself a community that reminds you of your belovedness. Because you are a wonderful human being who people love and I love. And so 
Find people who remind you of that and not people who tell you you suck. All right, Fusion, Fusion, don't listen to anything he said. That's not important. <laughs> R2, little sus. Uh, I shall present. You know. Oh, no one liked mine. Talking during my existential crisis. You know, you got all these friends, they're very affirming, but you just, <laughs> just don't want to talk right now. You just, you just want to just kind of. Be in your own head. Even if they're around, you just don't want to deal with them right now. Well, I have come up with the perfect answer. It's the Ventrilla necklace. You see, it's this very simple necklace that you can uh, wear around your neck. It will do the talking for you. You have a couple options with this necklace. With our free tier, you can record up to 10 sayings onto it and play them back at will. You don't have to say a thing. It will speak and it will sound as if it's coming from your own mouth. But if you want to start paying for the uh, premium tiers, if you go up the chain about five dollars a month, you get the, uh, you get the ability to record up to a hundred sayings, and you can access them very easily. Now, if you just go a little bit higher to the seven dollar tier, you now have the ability to include a couple uh, immediate replies. So if it hears one phrase, it goes to another. And then if you go to our $15 a month tier, you get our AI behind it. You don't even need to come up with the words. It will do it for you. And it sounds like it's coming directly from you, your voice, everything. So you don't even have to worry about them uh, sussing you out, you know, or when you can't talk, trust those of us who can. Word. Okay, then. There, so, like, uh, there were multiple words you used in that that made me really appreciate it. Okay, so... People always ask me for my moral advice. And you know what? That's right. Because I have the perfect solution. Look at that, solution. Uh, clearly, uh, you would all recognize it's just read Nietzsche. That's right. Why? Why would this be relevant? Why, of course, morality. More like moronality. Yeah, more like a repression from those peers above you trying to institute a control over your life, right? Clearly, they don't have any respect for other human beings, and everyone is an ubermensch, right, guys? Right? No one is, like, just trying to help another person, right? That is an amazing caption. That's it. Fusion! All right. Here I go. So here's my problem, dude. I don't want to have my intestines explode anymore. It's becoming a problem. And I always wondered if the example prompt in this game would ever actually be used. And here I am, lo and behold, <laughs> using that prompt in a presentation. So, feast your eyes on my solution for my intestines. All I have to do is expand my size, featuring <laughs> the turn of the Wumbo Belt. Wumbo! <laughs> Upside down to Wumbo! You, me, he, she, but I, no, I, Wumbo, to contain my exploding intestines. I just expand the inside. It's first grade, you guys! Um, easy solution, really. Wumbo. Wumbology. Great job, everyone. <laughs> the study of Wumbo. <laughs> Wumbo. Come on, SpongeBob, it's first grade. <laughs> all right, hold on. I do need to make a real quick comment so you all know this. Uh, when R2 was going, right, I seriously just wanted it to be like... The, you know, because it was, my problem is I don't want to talk, like, when I'm having an existential crisis. I kind of wanted it to be, like, he did not say a word. It just came up with the prompt, came up with the drawing, came up with the, like, title and the tagline. End. So, so you said mold, you, so, like, I appreciated your use of the tear thing. That was really funny. And I and yeah. and I appreciated that you used the word sus as, like, an actual word. Which I thought was like, for, like very. I decided well. I would try to uh, play into it some since I've already started. I like when R2 said you can move up the chain, and I'm like, huh, that's what necklaces are made of. <laughs> so I. <laughs> but yeah, that was a really well delivered pitch. <laughs> Thank you. Indeed, indeed, indubitably. 
<laughs> one ball bell was good, but I liked affirming friends. No, <laughs> shut up. Shut up, Cam. <laughs> I mean, I failed. <laughs> there was, I mean, I support. All right. All right. I didn't get no votes, so I'll take it. I mean, that was all, like your tagline was awesome. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So we had. I I do not like setting the precedent that most of us talked for the full sixty seconds. <laughs> that was unusual. Like we did, we did kind of go on. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, I didn't think it was gonna take that long to go, but uh, apparently I did. I took, I took like half the time. I just went like, cool, this, that, tag, done. Dude, you'd be an ace marketer. No. Uh, cause... Oh no! Clearly, R two would be the ace marketer. He had your attention the entire time. He really did. Indeed. Let's not, let's not take away from I that. I had a good go. Honestly, as you remember for no, the past- No, come on! I wrote a I prompt and I, I loved like it. I... Nobody liked my prompt. I feel awesome though that both of my prompts are- Both of mine were used too. <laughs> Screw you! Now you all get to feel how I feel. Oh, I don't know if I can draw this well. I'm gonna try it. I am just like, I am telling you all now, this is the single most self-indulgent prompt I've ever done. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> like my last one was incredibly wholesome and kind and all that. This one, I'm going to be incredibly arrogant and a dick. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to be a dick, but a different sort. Ah, uh, you cheeky little dick waffles. Oh, I can't. I have time to finish that picture, so I'm stopping it there before I. Did they? Did they ever finish Helsing Abridged? They did. I, I thought about watching it, and then I thought I'd get a sandwich, and I went with the sandwich. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I want you to know that's a oh. thousand percent stolen. Searchlight? That's, that is a Mike Birbiglia joke. He went with, like, a, like, he had really bad, like, sleepwalking troubles for years. And he thought, like, I really should see a doctor about this. And then I thought, maybe I'll get dinner. And I went with dinner for years. Is he a YouTuber and streamer or both? Uh, Mike Birbiglia is a professional comedian. Oh, uh, much better than that. Okay, there we go. So, no. <laughs> oh, I need a tagline. <laughs> uh. No, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> I would love to make the joke that, you know, it's just classic church life, but I've been doing that a lot recently myself. I was typing fast because I thought I was going to run out of time, and I realized I like half of the thing left. Well, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. I did the I did the benefit of having the worst prompt. I hope I go first so I can really rev things up. Uh, trust me, I have the worst one this time. I oh, fight, no, I'll fight I'm you. All right. Lads and ladettes, here's the deal. I want to be in this super special, awesome Hall of Fame. I figured, what would be really cool? What would attract attention in order to get into this super special Hall of Fame? And then I realized, I just got to do the following. I got to just lean back and do a flip. Just twirl over backwards <laughs> and whether I land on my feet or whatever, I don't know, man. But people are just gonna watch you for reference. Like, dude, sick. <laughs> you are very good at the SNL skit version of this. <laughs> Bubbles, go. I have more compliments for, for Fusion later. Alright. Well, 
I want to be in the Super Special <laughs> Hall of Fame. So I've got some advice. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Just be me. Can we get some jazz snaps? <laughs> I, like, I am kind of a big deal. <laughs> I am super, I am special, and I am awesome. So all I got is just keep being me. And if you be me, you can be inducted too. I had to I had to pause because I'm gonna clip that and I'm gonna send it to you. Anytime you have a bad day, you're gonna get that. Searchlight! Keep the string going, boys! So I mean much like you, I wanna be in the super special awesome hall of fame. But you know, knowing that I'm not special or super or awesome without certain things, I realized we really need a mecha chair. What are you saying? What? A mecha chair? I mean, go for the world record of sitting the longest. Sit. How awesome would that be? You don't have to go anywhere or do anything because the chair will take you there. Oh, that should have been my tagline. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought your tagline was going to be, I'm going to go protect my title. <laughs> but no one, no one will ever be able to beat your world record for sitting in a chair. How awesome is that? You're super, you're special, because who else can have the title of sitting in the chair the longest? And uh, my, my worst, my worst. Wow. <laughs> Sit down and shut up, but I miss. No, yeah. no. Own that. That is good. That is gold. <laughs> <laughs> the U is right next to the I and no, the keyboard. No, don't regret a thing. That's a better one. <laughs> well, I guess if you want to keep your record, you can't get up to use the bathroom. So you might as well embrace it. <laughs> if you're not going to say it, I will. Sit down and shit up. Mecha chair. All right, boys. It's time for a professional to show you how it's done. Here's the thing. Let me, let me bring it down. I want to be in the super special awesome Hall of Fame, and you know what? It, I, I hearken back to my youth, and when I really wanted to find my passion, I talked to my dad and said, like, I, I want to be special. I like, I really want to be like the best at something. I want to really show the world. And he leaned down to me, and what he said to me is, "Too bad." <laughs> <laughs> So sad! You're number two and you're poo! Oh well! <laughs> That's it. That's my whole problem. Sus? Please? Well, what's that? What's that? Tell me this. Well, you see, I've heard from a lot of people that they would like to get into the Super Special Awesome Hall of Fame. This is not something that is easily done. But here at Sus Removing Enterprises, we have the perfect solution for you. Now, the important part about getting into the Super Special Hall of Fame is to always do the right thing. Always be accounted for as you're doing the right thing. You don't want to uh, do anything wrong. So here at uh, Sus Remover uh, Inc., we train you. We teach you how to do things correctly how to present your best self. If this is the longest, I'm going to show you. Further and we start uh, setting up cameras. You know, it's not just good enough to always be doing the right thing. If you want to make sure you're in this Hall of Fame, you must have people watching. You need people to know that you're doing the right thing so that they get you into this. You need to make sure that you're doing it right, and we need to make sure that you stop doing anything bad so no one gets you in trouble. So, I call Thought crime remover. <laughs> you need to make sure that you don't have any problems with how we think the Super Special Awesome Hall of Fame is supposed to accept people. Eight. So, which gets you into the Big Brothers Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I was going to say, I thought oh. it was going to be either something about Among Us or Michael Jackson's house. <laughs> All right, then. All right Wait. now, I gotta finish what I was saying about Fusion's thing. It's gotta pop up so I can remember all of the things. 
Oh yeah, um, you have such a good, like, SNL skit level of these prompts, where it's like, everyone's like, going highball, like, here are the things you gotta do, awesome, and you're like, gotta get into the super special awesome hall of fame, do a sick flip! <laughs> I'm just like, oh, it's very good. I will take flip, so yeah. like... <laughs> As I was going down my prompt, I really wanted it to sound Screw you, like bubbles. I was doing yet another tier list on uh, Among Us, then slowly creep into the dystopia that is... Uh, God dang it! Why does it always cannibalize the market? Why can't one time? Yes! I succeeded for once! That was very... Yeah, I got a guy that laugh from me. Thanks. Pretty I think what sold it is my swirly dookie in my story. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I thought it would go fairly well when I leaned in and talked about my dad and then said too bad. <laughs> I thought you were about to start doing a Pokemon thing. I want to beat you very bad. I mean, that would have been one, but here's the thing. While Bubbles goes wholesome or self-congratulatory, I had to stay true to my ideals, which is being depressed. The first one was very wholesome, very kind. The second one was very, um, I'm not gonna say the word on screen, so I'm gonna say... I mean, like, there was definitely some lips close to your own genitals, we'll go with that. But I need to know, did my uh, slow transition into dystopia work well, or did it fall flat? I don't think it works well in this medium. I know where you were going, but, like, we only really have time for, like, a quick punch. So, like, unless you mm. go crazy, it doesn't really read that well. Yeah, I did appreciate that you delivered it in near monotone. Yes. That was... Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> but, um... Read. Hmm? Fortunately, uh, my... Tell me that I am always talk in monotone, even though I don't think I do. I don't think you talk in monotone. I don't. I think you did a good job of delivering that in monotone, though. <laughs> I would say there's some. I think, and because I, I think you've said before too, is that sometimes people don't catch your intonations well. Like, you know, not that you don't intonate; it's that your intonation placement for people off. All right, mm. searchlight. Now I'm gonna need you to say the word intonation five more times in two sentences. Go. <clears throat> Well, when I'm trying to intonate um, while studying Japanese, I learned that the intonations in Japanese and English don't follow the same intonation patterns. Tell me more. Uh, Good well, enough. Intonation patterns in Japanese uh, tend to have inflections on, if I recall correctly, either the first or third syllable, whereas English tends to use the second syllable for intonation. This goes differently too for tonal languages like Chinese, which have intonations actually as part of the word itself. And that's to say, if you were to intonate and inflect, um, say, upwards on a syllable as opposed to downwards on a syllable, even though you were using the same vowel, that will change the meaning of the word itself. And neither English nor Japanese use that, even though Japanese actually takes a lot from uh, Chinese in some regards. Wait, quick question. Uh -huh. If you're going to inflect upwards versus downwards on a vowel, what would that sound like? Slightly, yeah. Huh. It's not as uh, distinct as uh, Chinese is, but it's considered to be a tonal language. It's nice. Yep. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go with A. Would we like to play another round? Sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Where was this guy? Well, I got to say. You just got me with what you just posted in the Discord. I'm glad. <laughs> you got me. I haven't watched it because, because okay, like, I'm on the call. Just the label got me. <laughs> it's, it is really good. It is six seconds long, and it is worth your time. <laughs> hey, uh, R2? I'm yeah. I'm tossing you a dystopian prompt. Also, I was so sad. Nobody picked. I keep losing my knife in other people's insides. That was what? I was not giving that prompt. I, I mean, I was like, my, oh, uh, damn it. 
I thought it the was other pretty. Prompt that I wrote. Um, what was it? What was it? What was it? Was um, I can't remember anymore. Never mind. So there was prompts that I got that I wasn't. So like when I was like, should I do the um, the other one that I got was can I go way off? Was it was like I want to cover up and then put in the Kennedy assassination. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, that one was mine. The Kennedy assassination was the other prompt I wrote. Yeah, it was. I'm guessing it was coming from before. I don't find that nearly as funny as you guys do. But, um, also, <laughs> I, so, I, I have two things. One, I made a prompt that I hope gets to uh, R2, because it's dystopian. And I made another prompt that I hope gets to Bubbles, because it's straight up like the softest layup pitch I could make. <laughs> I hope I get it then. I gotta... You, it. but the clock's a tick. It's not Spongebob this time, though. I have a 25% shot. Search light! Search light! Because there's eight quotes, and I'll get two. I made it. How about this? You'll know if you got it. You've got somebody else's problems. Been there. Wow, these the are terrible. Solved. Yeah, these aren't very good, but the, I don't think I got it. I don't think you got them either. Let me refresh. Okay, there we go. It's still not processed. There we go. Shoot. Is anyone going to forgive me if I make the dumbest callback of all time? Yes. I, I mean, I won't forgive you. I will <laughs> No, please make the dumbest callback of all time. I, I suspect I'll laugh heartily at whatever it is if I remember it. If I was part of the call being back <laughs> this is the dumbest decision I've ever made <laughs> I do not endorse doing that. That's half your time. What the pro tip just said, I say you shouldn't do. <laughs> this one. <laughs> I don't know what the prompt said. What did it say? <laughs> um, if you have, if you're having trouble coming up with an idea, try beckoning one from the shadows. And I'm oh. very. I definitely just did that. That you should not make deal with deals with demons. Uh, okay, a... so I wouldn't call him a demon. <laughs> like, like, I'd say imp at best. Finish. Not a single person is going to vote for this. It feels so bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just... All right, hey, Fusion. Yeah? You are the person who is going to have to forgive me. That's that's all right. I'm a very forgiving uh, Fusion. I that's know. I know. <clears throat> I just, I had two prompts, and I thought both of them were garbage. So I just was like, all right, I'll take this one. And, like, the first thing that popped into my head was, no, 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 I can't do that. And then no other thought occurred to me, and I went, well, I guess we're committing. <laughs> Fair enough. I can dig, probably. <laughs> and by I'm the fact that I, by the fact that I asked you, you can guess it's going to mention you. Yeah, <laughs> seems likely. <laughs> R2, R2, R2 the sus, you're running out of time. I'm good. Uh, are you sure? Did you submit? Yes. All right. No, no, and I don't plan to. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. As long as you're okay, then that's fine. Searchlight! Alright, so... <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I spill blood everywhere. I mean, when I'm trying to transport these blood bags to emergency relief sites and stuff like that, or to my nearest vampire place, you know, you trip, you drop it, it goes everywhere. It's a real mess. Well, if I got a solution at all, the organic blood bag. I saw this in a couple of different movies once. So trust me, I think it will work. All right? What you do is you find a, a blood bag, right? And instead, instead of, you realize you got this bag of blood, right? Why, why take the, the blood out from it to put it into a tinier bag? And you could just take the big bag with you the whole time, right? simple you know it's like why pour why pour the soda out of your bottle into a cup you just drink it straight from the bottle the organic blood bag keep your blood and extra organs fresher for longer I, okay i gotta say it before it goes away it looks like a giant bee you're right <laughs> it, lo it looks like a bee to me i can't get it out of my head fusion you definitely okay, so here's here's my new problem of the week uh, I want to see more knives in people's insides. I regret nothing. So I I got to use my engineering expertise and be like, what's a good way to get these knives in people's insides? And introducing this crazy idea. Look at this. Look at this. It's called a knife wall. So... You, the person, just run straight into the wall of knives at the crazy speed at which you're dashing to the knife wall. Those knives are going to emerge right into your insides immediately. You just keep running, and then it's dead ahead. I thought it's for <laughs> sure you were going to reference Scott Pilgrim, and I was so hyped. Uh, no, Can the wall move up. towards you instead? All right. No, no, no. I will present now. There's got to be a way to make sitting through patently stupid less boring. All right, guys? It's clearly boring. So here's what we'll do instead. What is it? Anyone else remember it? Clearly, it's do a flip. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you might be saying, I feel like I've seen that before. To which I would reply, bruh. <laughs> That's it. That's my prompt. <laughs> your turn, your turn. <laughs> I, I won't lie. You probably would help. I shall present. <laughs> I hate you. I will kill you. I can't stand how slow waiting for Godot is. So, given the existence as uttered forth by the public works of Samuel Beckett of a Sisyphus society with slow stories who, from the heights of no rewards, continual punishments, and dutiful works, loves us dearly, with some exceptions? Who, for reasons unknown, no. but time will tell, <clears throat> and suffer like Sisyphus bringing a rock up, for reasons unknown, but time will tell? Okay, I'm gonna stop there. It's just a little thing called. And that's how it's done. That's about as far as I was able no. to get before I lost time. Oh, I really thought you were just gonna not end and just like. I I, <laughs> like, I no, genuinely yeah, thought we were gonna get a waiting for Godot present. is slow then silence. I uh, the worst part of winter is knowing that allergy season is coming, so I have advice. All you gotta do is blow up your nose, <laughs> take a dynamite stick, and you put it in your nose and then you light it you will never sneeze again for the rest of your life if you put tnt into your nose and okay then... oh sorry uh, just don't hit n yet when you're done <laughs> you will never sneeze again and then you won't have to worry about allergy season Okay, where is the nose and where is the dynamite? Like, where does okay. it end and start? Because when <laughs> the nose is the triangle and it says TNT and the purple thing is the dynamite stick, and then that's the face. The rest okay. of it's the face. So uh, okay. now, now I gotta go. <laughs> and the the black parts are boogers. All right, because the... like 
if you stuck a dynamite stick in your nose, you'd probably have boogers. All right, that now now I gotta nose. go. Uh, like, first whoa. off, <laughs> big bird. First right. off, TNT right. targeted with this uh, picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta go now, though. Cause uh, first off, TNT. It's dynamite. Second off, uh, I've heard of an explosive sneeze, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> there we go. Uh... I won't lie. These were actually for like how bad the prompts were. These were very good answers. <laughs> were they? <laughs> were they? Yeah. Look. I... We give people great like things so we did well within our constraints zero wait i actually got money yes you did with the watch my call it the yeah, knife man. wall the knife wall succeeded even though i wish it had been just you know knives from from steve scott pilgrim uh, <laughs> oh shit that would have been ah uh, god all right you don't want to blow your nose up <laughs> Hey Fusion, did you like your prompt? I loved it. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a like. I don't think we were highly impressed this round. <laughs> I also don't think the questions were that impressive. All right, I I beg to differ. I think my two prompts were perfect, but only for the people who they were supposed to go to. So pick them now. Oh yes, hold on. But I gotta. Mm. Oh God! All right, so I'm I'm reading the one that I wanted uh, R2 to grab, which was I think independent thought is just too dangerous. <laughs> but I it? wish everyone would be gold star bubbles. <laughs> That's right. Let's just fully jerk you off, bud. <laughs> oh yeah, circle jerk. <laughs> Here we go. You got the word that I didn't want to say on the street. <laughs> Uh, if circle jerk is the thing, then no. No, I said. I said one. I, what I was, was going to say was one of them was really wholesome. The other one was really masturbatory. <laughs> I was going to say like. <laughs> never mind. I should stop there. Here's the thing. I'm willing to throw away my entire lead because I need to do this. I just need to, like, make it a meme. It's true. Thank you, Boat Inspirations. It's true. Only a few All right. To draw. I'm committing to the bit. I am too. Thank you for this dystopian society. It's hard for me to come up with a bit because, like, it's about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. I stole the bit that you should have had. Don't worry. So I'm just being very honest. <laughs> Boom, we're done. I may not be efficient, I may not be funny, but I sure as hell am extra. <laughs> uh, boom. This is like, I don't know if this is really a pitch, but <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's an answer. <laughs> I mean, I, I want to see what- <laughs> I can't, I can't wait to like, clip the entire episode, right? And I'm just gonna send it to you and be like, anytime you're not having a good day, like life has gotten you down, watch the episode where all we do is just like, talk about you. Now, let's see those I'm done in my portion. And then I should do different- I shall present. Now, I wish everyone would be like Gold Star Bubbles. And so I tell you what, this is a story of of how 
I want it to be just like Bubbles. I want to say, like, I, I want to be wholesome and, and good and intelligent. And I asked him, you know, I, I want to be like you. And he leaned down to me and he said, Too bad! <laughs> he was number one! As it turns out, he still is. That's it. That's it. That's the whole of my prop. That was really well done. <laughs> Thank you. Gold star, Werberman, Ben Bubbles. Right. <laughs> I shall present. You see, I wish everyone would be like Gold Star Bubbles. And thanks to our recent Kickstarter, Kickstarter, we realized that there are a lot of people who agree with us that everyone should be like Gold Star Bubbles. They want to be like Gold Star Bubbles. And we've developed this beautiful technology that will help. You see, here's just a random uh, test mm -hmm. citizen that I've gotten with us. And on him right now is what we call a Gold Star Bubble Sticker. Now these Gold Star Bubble Stickers, when put on him, makes him act more like Gold Star Bubbles. <laughs> he is very kind. He is very courteous. He helps out a lot. He does do a little too much sugar, but you know, this was the older Gold Star Bubbles that we're using as a model. We'll be sure to update it before the final release. This is part of the sticker collection known as the Thought Override. And we are currently lobbying with the government to try to get these stickers handed out to everyone because everyone should be more like Gold Star Bubbles. So please be more like our leader, Gold Star Bubbles. He is like good. See, Cam, I straight up thought the same thing. I really was like, <laughs> oh, the Dragon Balls. <laughs> Fusion. Okay, so I will present here. So here's my current thing that I'm tackling. I, I wish everyone would be gold star bubbles. So I got to figure, um, <clears throat> you know, if, if you're going to be gold star bubbles, you got to talk the talk, but you also got to walk the walk. So let me explain what I mean by that. Really, to be gold star, you have to dress the part. So... You gotta grow out your beard, grow out your luscious locks, put on a dope Hawaiian shirt, and let the the power of Christ compel you. And then <laughs> you will ascend to the high tier that Gold Star Bubble resides in. And then you'll be able to look yourself in the mirror and say, you're a bubble, Harry. <laughs> I love that. That was so good. Thanks. <laughs> <Seriously>? <laughs> Really? <laughs> Same thing, R2. Doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. No. You gotta do it. Push everyone. <laughs> no. It's easy. It's easy. But it's not. You, you can't just go around quoting SpongeBob. You can't just keep watching Frozen. And you know what? You can't keep carrying around the opinion that Avatar. <laughs> Legend of Korra was better than Legend of Korra. Let me tell you something. I know um, a doctor, surgeon, who can help you in that last transition. You've gotten into the headspace. You know who you want to be on the inside. Let Dr. Thomas Elliot help you be that man on the outside. I nip here, tuck there. Boom. Next thing you know, no one can tell the difference between you and the real gold star. Everybody? Everyone. Oh, fuck. I just got the reference. Wow. Oh, wow. What a deep. All right. Hold on. I want everyone to appreciate what a deep cut. Yeah. <laughs> everyone appreciate fusion. Now we may continue, Bubbles. Yeah. I wish everyone would be gold star bubbles so like i am going to give you advice on how to do this and really it's like basically i get to be confucius right now because i get to tell you that the good way to live is how i live there are if you want to be like gold star bubble you should be kind and ambitious that's that's really it like there's a lot more involving me but those are kind of my two biggest qualities so like be kind and hard and then gold star bubbles. Yeah, but how do I get into Hufflepuff and Slytherin? 
<laughs> yeah, but like, see, like that. <laughs> Good. What a politician answer. Yeah. <laughs> No, in a world where everyone was defined by one trait, I was the irregular. I was defined <laughs> by two. I mean, okay. I gotta say, definitely not that bad of a drawing. <laughs> Him, or whoever you are, it's not that bad of a drawing. <laughs> All I know is... Nice. Oh god, no, we've cannibalized the market again! No! I thought I thought I could do it. Wow! Wow! I'm so sad. I thought I nailed it. That was, you, were, you were my second choice. I, is there? I, there can't be enough of us. And there's money. Oh, the bear barely succeeded. That's All funny. Right. There we go. Was I the only one that failed? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> we did it. You know why? You know why I won? Because I literally just referenced two other people's jokes. Well, yeah. well, my joke, my previous joke, and do a flip. Hey, man. It's all about the execution. And you executed. So funny. You executed. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I was going to say, call me a palm tree because I executed it. <laughs> Never told you guys the story, but your drawing thing plus my name bubbles made me think of this story. So when I was in high school, I my personality hasn't changed much. So there right. were these friends of mine who I don't really talk to anymore, but they're good people. But when they would hang out, they were hanging out without me one time. Like boy girls, we would hang out together. All the girls without me one time. They drew a balloon of me. That had a beard and a Hawaiian shirt, <laughs> and then posted it on the internet on Facebook because that's what we used then. And it looked almost like that drawing you just did, <laughs> because I had it then and I wore a Hawaiian shirt, but it was a balloon, not a bubble, but like <laughs> it's kind of close. <laughs> so like, oh, that's funny. I just, I just like the inclusion of the of the Facebook. That's what we used back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I use Twitter. I don't use Facebook anymore. I have a Facebook account because, like, there are all the, like, old people. Oh, I no, no, no. It's just, it's just like, it, it just felt almost like a Grandpa Simpson way to say it. <laughs> I mean, you're right. Oh, it just came out great. <laughs> I 